With the 4th of July holiday and near 100 degree heat, ice cream was sure a popular treat in many backyard barbecues today. But which brand is best when it comes to the bars and sandwiches you buy in the supermarket? Well, a new taste test picks some winners. Hey guys, I got ice cream. Who wants bars? Who wants sandwiches? Sandwiches! Wow. sandwiches. Yeah, definitely it's the 4th of July week, a great time to stock your freezer full of grab and go treats. But which are best? While most kids are happy with just about any ice cream, at Consumer Reports we found a couple of them that topped our ratings that just might make the discriminating big kids happy too. Our partners at Consumer Reports Magazine just evaluated 21 different frozen treats, including bars and sandwiches from Dove, Good Humor, haagen and Klondike. Good Humor bars were the lowest rated dark chocolate ice cream bars tested. Tasters described the coating as thin, waxy, and crumbly with ice cream that tasted of artificial vanilla. Several other dark chocolate bars, though, got sweeter reviews, including haagen and Dove. Both rated excellent, but they do come at a price. They're expensive. They cost about $1.25 a bar. And just like all the ice cream bars, nutritionally, they have a lot of fat and calories. So you might want to save them as a splurge. Watching every dollar? For only 50 cents a piece, consider the ice cream sandwiches from Walgreens. That's right, the drugstore's old fashioned ice cream sandwich was the only sandwich that wasn't gummy. It has a cake like cookie that has a big cocoa flavor, a conclusion these young experts agreed with. Now, Consumer Reports did not test any Cincinnati brands of ice cream like Graders, UDF, or Aglamisis, even though we all know that Cincinnati brands are all excellent.